Well, guys, looks like this is it. I'm gonna miss both of you guys, Fred, Tim, New Kelp City, but you know what? I think it's time I expand my horizons and see what the world has to offer. And Bikini Bottom may be uh, a smaller town, but you know what? I think it'll be a uh, you know a nice change of scenery. So I'm definitely gonna miss you guys, and it's not something I want to do, but I, I just gotta go out there, you know, explore the world, see what else I can see. I really hate to see you go, Jack. You really have to move to Bikini Bottom. Look, Fred, I I really don't want to. I'm you know I'm gonna miss you and, and Tim, but like. Man, I, I'm getting bored of New Kelp City. I've been here for so long. I just, I gotta see other places, you know? So, I, unfortunately, I gotta go. Okay, but please be sure to visit us from time to time. Fred, you know what? I will definitely be visiting, guys. This isn't the end, guys. I, I'll definitely be coming back. I just, uh, right now, I gotta go. It's, it's, it's my time to go and see some new things. And you know what? If you guys come visit me or I visit you, we can definitely hang out. Just like, just like the good old days. It's gonna be really weird once you're gone. Fred and I will be all alone while you're be making a bunch of new pals over in Bikini Bottom. Good luck though, Jack. Thank you, Tim. You know what, I'm gonna miss both of you guys. You guys have been my best friends, my closest friends for so long, ever since I moved here when I was a, a young lad, a young starfish, but you know what? This is it for now. Maybe I'll move back here when I've gotten my fill of Bikini Bottom, but you know what, guys? <sighs> this is it for now, so. Thank you guys for being such great friends, but you know what? I think it's time for me to go. Yep, I, I, I don't want to miss my... Well, I guess I'm not taking a bus. I'm, I'm going to miss my walk, you know? I think it's about time. I got to go make sure I get to my new house before the, uh, the renting lady leaves. So, you know what, guys? This has been fun. You know what? I'll, I'll tug it out. No, I don't want to talk to you anymore, bro. Come on, Fred. No, no more time for words. Come on, just, just hug it out, buddy. There we go. Hugging it out. There we go. Don't look the other way when I'm hugging you, Fred. Tim... Buddy, it's been a long time. You and I, you're kind of nerdy, but you know what? You and I were pals. You and I and, T and Fred, we were the three amigos. We were the three pals. But this is it. Love you guys. I'm going to miss you, New Kelp City. Goodbye, Fred. Goodbye, Tim. But don't worry. I'll be, sh I'll be sure to see you soon. Please don't forget about me. Ooh, finally, I'm in Bikini Bottom. That was such a- why was that such a long walk? Oh my god, I should've just taken a bus. Oh, that would've been so much easier. Alright, well, I'm pretty sure that's my new place. I'm pretty sure my new house is, uh, hold on, let me look down at, uh, the instructions here. Oh yeah, it's a, uh, a big brown rock. Uh, I think that's- looks- I think that looks like it. And apparently I'm living next to a purple tiki head stone thingy. And what appears to be a pineapple. Uh, all right, so I don't know what <laughs> what to think about my neighbors so far, but uh, ah, yes yeah, sold my new house my new place of residence the new place I shall call my home for the next uh, Well, however long I'm gonna be living in Bikini Bottom. All right. Uh, hey, oh, hey, there's my uh, realtor. Hey, Tina. How's it going? Welcome to your new home Jack star. I really hope you enjoy Bikini Bottom. Oh, thank you, Tina I hope so as well once you're done exploring a new place, I suggest you go and meet your new neighbors. Hopefully you all become great friends. You know what, Tina? Thank you. I'm gonna go do that right after I check out my new place. All right. So, looks to be pretty solid. Uh, and I I'm loving the architecture. It's just, it's really nicely built. So, I really hope the inside looks just as good as it does on the outside. Uh, yep. yep not gonna look, not gonna look. And, ta-da. All right, well, um, this is uh, a little different than it looked on the uh, the brochure, but uh, it still looks pretty good, I think. Um, it seems we have uh, a lamp post, which is good, I guess, in case I want to do some reading and I need some light. I have a, a nice big bed here and a cactus. All right, uh, can't complain there and whatever these things are. All right, so uh, whenever I need to sleep, I got these pillows. This is a pretty nice bed. I mean, it's not, it's not huge, but it's not... I mean, it's not super tiny. I'm liking it. It's bigger than the bed... I had in uh, New Kelp City, so I can't complain. Oop, and I even have a chair, and uh, I really need to get a TV or something installed, because right now this is just kind of boring, you know? It's just, I mean, it's a nice chair, uh, but I mean, like, what am I going to do? Just, like, sit here and, like, read a book or something? Like, I, I gotta be doing something more fun than reading a book. Maybe watching some TV, or maybe, uh, maybe get a computer, play some games, I don't know. I, don't, I, I gotta get something, though. This place, 
it's nice. I'm not gonna lie, it's nice. But it needs some uh, some extra things to make it even better. So I'm probably going to, at some point, buy myself a TV and maybe even a computer, set it up over there maybe. And I got some good plans for this house. But you know what? The start of this, it's good. And in, just in case I ever do actually want to read a book, then uh, I guess I have a library right here uh, to help me with that. So, you know, my house is looking nice. Uh, no complaints, I guess. Just gonna have to add in some extra furniture later, but... You know what? I'm liking it right now. So far, I'm liking it, and I, nothing really for me to do until I go get some new furniture, so I think I'm gonna go meet my new neighbors. So, as I said before, it seems like I'm living next to a tiki head thing and a pineapple, so my neighbors are probably uh, pretty interesting people. Um, I don't know what kind of thing would live in a pineapple under the sea, but probably uh, probably a good guy. Uh, Alright, so one, two, two. Alright. So this guy's address is 122. Um, hopefully this guy doesn't mind. I should probably knock, but oh well. I'm just gonna enter in here. And ah! All right, what is this guy's name? It's a nice house though. He's got more furniture than I do. But does he does he have a TV? He does not appear to have a TV, but he has uh, a chair and a couch. And a chair and a little table here. I need a table. Why does my house not have a table? Oh, whatever. All right, uh, what is your name, sir? Hi there, I'm Squidward. Welcome to Bikini Bottom. What's your name? Well, my name is Jack Star. Well, it's nice to meet you, Jack. What are some of your hobbies? Well, I love to play the clarinet, and, uh, ooh, ooh, I, I like to dance, and, uh, you know, I, I like to paint, uh, in my spare time also. Really? You like to do all of those things? I love to play the clarinet, and I dance and paint in my free time. I can't believe we have so much in common. Uh, yeah, actually, I was... <laughs> Funny story, Squidward. I was kind of kidding when I said all that. Uh, I actually like to, to blow bubbles and uh, maybe even go jellyfishing from time to time. Oh, so you're one of those kinds of people. Well, there goes all my dreams of having a good neighbor. Anyway, you should go talk to SpongeBob. He's right next door. I'm sure you two will get along. All right, well, thank you for introducing yourself, Squidward, and sorry I kind of, well, I, I guess let you down. I kind of hurt your dreams, but you know what? Squidward, you seem like a, a good guy. And you seem like a really happy guy, too. I can see that smile on your face. Um, so, Squidward, hopefully you don't mind. I'm just going to look around your your house. I got to see what my neighbor's houses are like. And I got to see how much better they are compared to mine, you know? And it seems like that's a pantry, maybe? I think it's a pantry. And this house is just so much nicer than mine. And what, is that, what does that door lead to? Uh, oh, a second floor? No, the first floor. The second floor. Why, why does his house have two floors? Why do I only get one floor? Maybe I'll have to, to upgrade my house eventually. Because right now, my house is just... It's so tiny, and there's not even a TV. I'm gonna have to get some upgrades for my house sooner or later. But it seems like his second floor is a nice bed. And it's a little bit bigger than mine. So it seems like his house is a, a little bit better than mine in a lot of different ways. But it's all right. It's all right. He has uh, a bigger bed. Maybe he's a bigger guy. And what is going on in here? Uh, ooh. All right, so see, appears to be a bathroom of some kind. There's a, a nice sink. I should probably get one of those so I can actually <laughs> wash my hands. Otherwise, it's going to be, uh, I don't know. People probably aren't going to want to go to my house because I'll, I'll throw a party or something. They'll be like, oh, man, it stinks in here. So I should probably get a uh, a sink of some kind. And what the heck is this thing? Uh, I like that there's a window, though. You can see outside. You can't really see much outside, but I like how you can see outside. And this appears to be a pool maybe uh, a hot tub of some kind i don't know where the uh, the switch is to turn on the uh, the hot water because this is some cold water but uh, i'm sure there's a switch somewhere maybe maybe sometime uh squirter and i can um can hang out maybe have like a little pool hot tub party i don't know he probably i should probably stop just swimming in his hot tub without asking him though but oh well uh it looks like a nice place though i should probably get one of these kinds of uh hot tubs and a sink you know the the necessities should probably get one of those in my house but you know what one step at a time, everybody. And it seems like he has a closet. All right. Uh, looks good, I guess. I can't complain about his closet. And what is going on up here? Uh, what is this? Uh, ooh, he has a... Is this a third floor? He has three floors? Wow, what the heck? Uh, wow, this place is three times nicer than mine. He has three times the stuff I have in my house. But uh, this seems to be... I can't really tell what this is. It seems like some works of art are going on right here he did say he was into art but this is uh not really the kind of art i was expecting i was expecting like some paintings or something this seems to be like glass paint art you know this is uh, definitely unique we didn't have much of this in uh new kelp city so 
Uh, this is definitely a new experience for me. And he has a nice chandelier up there. And, oh, I love this view, though. You know what? You can't complain about this view. It's a little dark, but it seems like you see, like, some kind of anchor in the distance. I don't know what that is. Or, uh, is that, like, a tree dome or something? It, that's what it looks like. There's a tree inside of a dome. Right, I'll probably check that out sometime. She's not one of my neighbors, though, so I'll probably meet her, uh, eventually. And another nice window here. Get a nice view. This is just a nice view, you know? I, I need to get some windows in my house. My house is just kind of... I don't know, it's kind of dark and private. You know, I need to get I need to get a nice window in there to shine some light. And then he has a nice sitting area here so I can have like maybe some tea and cookies or some crumpets or something and just have a you know, a nice talk with my buddy Squidward. And maybe get like a fireplace here. I, I don't know. This is just this is just a nice house. I'm liking this house so far. I'm going to go tell Squidward that I like his house. And all right, Squidward, well, you know what? This is a very lovely house of yours. I'm sorry. Uh, our hobbies are not very similar, but you know what? Uh, I'm gonna go meet Spongebob, and, uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully he and I, uh, are a little more similar, because, uh, if I'm the only one in this, uh, in this neighborhood that, you know, likes to blow bubbles and go jellyfishing, it's probably gonna be pretty boring. I'm gonna have to invite Tim and Fred over. Uh, ew, hey, alright, what is, uh, pretty good place. Is that a TV? Okay, so Spongebob has the TV, and apparently no one else has a TV, and it doesn't turn on, apparently, which is... I guess, good. Uh, we should probably get that fixed. Maybe I should call a, a handyman or a mechanic or something, but... Alright, uh, Spongebob, I've heard a lot of great things about you. Uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. Hi there, I'm Spongebob. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Oh, well, I'm Jack Starr. Uh, I just moved in a couple houses down, and... Actually, I just moved in today. Really? That's terrific. Have you met Squidward yet? Yeah, he, he seems like a nice guy, but, uh, we're not really similar, unfortunately. Yeah, he's really great. Just a word of advice, though. Don't ever take a bath in his bathtub. Once I tried doing that, and he kicked me out of his house for it. Oh, uh, ooh, okay, well, it's, um, a good thing I haven't swam in his bathtub yet, <laughs> Uh, but, I mean, getting kicked out of his house? It doesn't seem that bad of a punishment. No, I mean, he actually kicked me out of his house through his window. Have you ever been kicked through a window from that high up? It's not fun. A anyway, uh, what do you like to do? Well, I like jellyfishing and, uh, ooh, also bubble blowing. Wow, so do I. I can tell we're gonna be great friends. H how about we go jellyfishing together sometime? I think it'd be a lot of fun. Yeah, you know what, SpongeBob, I'd like that. Squirter and I, you know, he's, we're just onto the same kind of things, you know? So I think, uh, you and I go in jellyfishing and maybe blowing some bubbles sometime. I think that'd be, uh, a lot of fun. Great. Well, I need to go feed my snail, Gary. Why don't you go meet Plants and Mr. Krabs? I'm sure you'll love them. All right, SpongeBob, you know what? After I explore your house and see uh, how much nicer your house is compared to mine, then I will definitely go and meet this Plankton and Mr. Krabs. But it uh, seems like you have a nice chair here. It's nice and big. I don't know why you need it so big. You don't seem like that big of a guy, but all right. Nice chair here. You can watch some TV from the side. And whenever you get this thingy fixed, I guess uh, you can actually watch TV. But for now, it still looks nice. Uh, what's going on here? You got a kitchen, it looks like. I don't have one of those, so you already have a step up on me, SpongeBob. And it looks like you have uh, a fridge over here. All right, a nice fridge and whatever this room is. Maybe like a walk-in pantry. Who knows? But I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Uh, a fridge, a pantry. Got some cake there. And I'm not really hungry right now, so I'm not going to eat any of that. But oh, you have a sink too. Good to know that both of my neighbors have sinks. And uh, what's going on? Hold on. Do these places lead to the same room? I think they do. Yeah, I think, I think they do, actually. All right, so they both lead to this staircase. And is there anything going on in here? Ah, the fitness room. Good. Well, I'm going to be working out, you know, definitely, you know, a few times a day. So uh, I think this is, uh, what the heck? What, what is this? I love pay What the? This, I don't see any weights. I just see blue and red and whatever this thing is. Uh, this doesn't look like the kind of fitness room that I had back in New Kelp City. Uh, I'll probably have to ask SpongeBob about this before I, I try using it. But, um... All right, so I guess this is how SpongeBob uh, keeps in great shape. Uh, cool. I, I don't really know how to use this, so I'm, I'm just going to ignore that. For now. I'll ask him about that uh, another time. Another time. And so it seems like he has a nice long staircase, big hallway, um, a lot of empty space. Probably should add something in here, maybe some chairs or something. Uh, ooh, a library. All right, well, I have one of those in my house, but uh, yeah, this seems to be a nicer <laughs> version of the library. Why is my library so tiny? Mine's like... This big, like just this little area. His is like 10 billion times that. It look, there's can I go up there? Can I how do I get up to that to that second part? Can I go up here? I wanna I wanna explore this. Uh oh, this is kind of dangerous though. SpongeBob has probably gotten pretty good at, at this jump. Uh, uh, uh 
That, oh, no, ow, dang it. Ah, uh, how, do, how do I get up there, though? I gotta be able to explore the books up here. There's probably some great books up here, even though I don't really like reading. Uh, how do I, ah, ah. Oh, there we go. All right, that's the uh, SpongeBob is probably add a, a new way to get up here Maybe like an elevator or something, but that's probably expensive and uh, uh, There we go. God, maybe this is his way of fitness actually He has to like jump in between all these different areas. This is how he gets uh, or he keeps in great shape um, All right, so we got some great books up here. You got some Shakespeare. You got uh, Well some cat in the hat and just a lot of great books. You know what if I ever need a book I think SpongeBob will be the guy uh, to ask which it's funny, because he doesn't seem like the kind of guy that reads a lot of books. That seems like a Squidward thing. So, I gotta get down from here safely, though. I don't want to fall. Uh, my legs are already hurting from the first fall. Uh, oh, come on. Give me, yeah, there we go. And just gotta get through here and catch the ladder. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Well, is that a fireplace, actually? Oh, this is... There's no fire, but I think this would be a nice place to just, like, chill and read a book. Maybe this would be the, the better place to drink some tea, you know? Drink some tea, have some, have some snacks, you know? Just talk to my buddy SpongeBob and... Chill right next to the fire and just read a good book. I think I think I'm gonna do that one of these days. Not now, because I have better I have better things to do than read a book. But you know what? That is definitely something I will have to do later. So uh, let's keep exploring the house though. Um, right here he has a bathroom. Good. Got to have one of those and another sink. SpongeBob has two sinks. I don't even have one. SpongeBob house is already. Wait, no, this is not a sink. That's a. Uh, wait, is this a sink? This is a sink. I think it looks like a sink, but I think this is a, a shower. Well, I do kind of smell. But I mean, outside it's it's still water all the time. So I mean, I'm it's it's basically you know giving myself a shower all the time. So does this even work though? Uh, this this shower doesn't even work. So this is basically just a tinier version of Squidward's hot tub, except it's just not. It's just a tiny pool of water. So uh, I'll probably have to tell SpongeBob to get that fixed. I have to tell these guys to get a lot of their stuff fixed. Like I don't even have much, but like at least all my stuff's working, you know. And a nice chest full of. Nothing. All right, keeping his valuables right there, and now I think there's still more to go. And I think this this better be the last room. I'm gonna start feeling really sad about myself. All right, so this is the bedroom, and uh, what the? Oh, what the? A trap door. Oh, this leads to the library. So you can go right from the library to his room. That's so cool. All right, and what's going on in here? Uh, SpongeBob has a bed. I think it's the same size as mine, so that makes me feel a little bit better. And he has another nice window peeking out at. Seems like some kind of restaurant or something. I can't really tell. And all right, it's starting to get dark out actually. And wow, that's a nice bed. You know, he has a is that a diving board. This isn't even a pool. Why does he have a diving board in here? Oh, oh my God! You can actually you can actually go up here. Oh my God! No way! And all right, all right. Can, do I have enough space to jump? Yeah, here we go. All right, and 360. And I oh that that hurt a little bit, but you know what? That was still a lot of fun. It probably would have been more fun if there was water that I was jumping into, but you know what? That's still, uh, still fun, I guess. And just, you know, a nice decorated room. He has some weird carpet spread out in random places, but you know what? That's still good. And more of his valuables. All right. Good to know he's organized. So this just seems like, you know, a nice place. And is this, does this lead to anywhere I've already been? I don't, I don't think so. Is there, is there a fourth floor to his house? Uh, whoa, what the heck? He's got like a, a, I don't even know what to call this, like a, a patio on top of his house. This is so cool. You can, like, if I can see the stars from here. If, like, I can watch the sunrise from up here and just, like, have a nice picnic. Both of my neighbors have such nice places I can just, you know, relax and read a good book in, you know? It's just, wow. And he has, like, a little sleeping bag right here that I can just relax under this tent. And it's like, this would be so nice. If it's, like, raining and I just want to chill right underneath here, this would be so relaxing. And he even has a little thing of water right here. Oh, man, and now I can even get a, a better view, but I got to be careful up here. It's probably um, not safe for me to be climbing up here, but you know what? I got to get the, the full view. What is going on up here? All right, so there's Squidward's house. Looks like Squidward has a garden down there. I don't want to fall, though, because that'd be bad. I think my house is right across from, right right on the other side of Squidward's house. Oh, this just looks so nice. Oh, man, I can't wait to just have Sunday mornings just relaxing up here with, with SpongeBob. And hopefully he lets me up here, because um, I, I don't know if maybe he'll be like, you know what, Jack, you, you just can't come up here. You know, I, I don't want you coming up here. But hopefully SpongeBob and I become good enough friends to where he and I can just relax up here, have a bite to eat, maybe have some cake up here on this, you know, table. I think that I think I really like that. I think that'd be a great thing to do on Sunday mornings, just unwind and relax. We didn't really have many of these places in New Kelp City. You know, it was, it was a big city, and, like, it was still nice. But, you know, it just didn't have these nice relaxing places like Bikini Bottom seems to have, you know? 
Uh, well, SpongeBob, thank you. Uh, you didn't really give me a tour of your house, but I gave myself a tour. Thank you for letting me look inside your lovely house. Uh, you and Squidward both have beautiful homes, and I'm actually gonna go check in on, uh, on Plankton and Mr. Krabs now. And, all right, let's go. And I think he meant that they are this way. All right, so let's uh, explore this way. It's already nighttime. That's not good. But, uh, all right, I guess I've been exploring these guys' houses longer than I thought. And so I think that's a restaurant. I don't have no idea what the heck that thing is. It looks like a green bottle of sorts with a K. I have no idea what it is, but uh, we're open. All right, so I don't know what they are, but they're open, apparently. Um, healthy food, chumsticks, this way. Yeah, I'm actually kind of hungry. I wouldn't mind some food. Uh, what is this, though? I don't even know what the heck this is. It doesn't look like a restaurant. It doesn't look like... I have no idea what this is. Maybe it's like a hotel or something? Um, kitchen. Uh, orders? Oh, this must be a restaurant. Uh, not many people in here, though. And there's not much space for people to eat. Uh, I'm assuming this place doesn't get many customers. Um, ooh, what's your name there, little buddy? Why, hello there, valued customer. Are you here for a chum burger? Or maybe a chum dog? Or perhaps some chips and chum? Uh, actually, I'm not really here for food. That doesn't sound very appetizing. Um, but I, I just moved in nearby. Oh, well, in that case, would you like to help me with something? It wouldn't take very long. Uh, I sure, I mean, I, I have time right now. I'm, I'm just kind of meeting people. Uh, what do you need? Well, Mr. Krabs, the owner of the Krusty Krab, has stolen my secret formula. It's the formula I use to make all of my delicious food. And now he's using it to bring customers to his restaurant. That doesn't sound very nice. Please, help me before I go out of business. Well, you know what? Th that just sounds mean of what he's doing. So you know what? Of course I'll help you. But uh, I need to know, where can I where can I find the secret formula? It should be in the freezer in the kitchen. I would go and take it back myself, but he knows not to let me back there. But I'm sure if you just tell him that your friend's a SpongeBob, he'll let you go. All right, Plankton, you know what? I'll try that. Uh, so hold on, can I explore this place though? I I'm, I'm assuming I have some time to, to just explore this. Um, I have no idea what the heck this place is, but uh, it seems friendly and welcoming. Uh, the kitchen and lab. Um, all right, so you got a big kitchen. You have a bigger kitchen than you have, like, an actual seating area for customers. So that's, uh, interesting. And is this TV, I think? I think that's a TV. That's uh, an interesting-looking TV, though. And then uh, another kitchen lab kind of thing and another freezer thing. All right, this is uh, a very interesting place, definitely. So not much to explore here compared to uh, SpongeBob and uh, Squidward's houses. But you know what? Python wants me to go and find... The secret formula for him and it's already daytime wow i've been exploring people's houses for so long time has gone by so fast uh so we set in the crusty crab and it's in the back and it's in the freezer um mr krabs uh hey hi there mr krabs um so uh yeah i'm i'm friends with spongebob so uh, i just moved in nearby and um yeah spongebob told me that he needs me to get the formula for him so he can make some uh, Krabby Patties. Yeah, that that I think that's good. Yeah, our friends of SpongeBob. Don't worry. There's nothing nothing bad going on back here. Uh, all right, there we go. All right, I sneaked by him pretty pretty sneakily. I'm I'm pretty proud of myself on that one. Um, so this is this is where SpongeBob cooks his food. Yeah, interesting. Uh, all right, what's back here? Uh, all right, so it is 2015. Good, I didn't know that. Uh, the fridge. All right, so it's frozen. Uh, all right, this should be where it is. Make sure Mr. Krabs isn't watching me. All right, no, he's he's watching the door. He's waiting for hungry customers. All right, here we go. And, oh, there we go. All right. Uh, oh, no, gotta get out of here. Make sure no one sees me in here. Uh, I, I don't even know what's going on here, but Plankton, Plankton seems like a good guy. I'm gonna trust Plankton on this one. And there we go. Secret formula. All right, we have it. We have it, ladies and gentlemen. We have the secret formula that Plankton stole, or I'm sorry, that Mr. Krabs stole from Plankton. And now we gotta get it back, sneakily. Yeah, just gonna, gonna put this in my inventory and not say a word. Uh, all right, uh, Mr. Krabs, thank you. Um, I was just touring the restaurant. That was um, a nice uh, freezer that you have back there. So uh, I'm gonna go now. Uh, all right, thank you, Mr. Krabs. Uh, I'll catch up with you later, and uh, we'll, we'll talk a little bit later. All right, all right, have a great day. Oh my God, we actually we actually did it. We got the secret formula for Plankton. Oh, Plankton's gonna be so happy. I'm gonna go tell SpongeBob. I can't believe it. I just moved in. I'm already doing good things for people. Ah, uh, Spongebob, look, look, buddy. Look, look what I did. Oh, so basically, Mr. Krabs stole the secret formula from Plankton for all of his delicious food. And I got it back. Look right here. 
Oh no, you stole the Krabby Patty secret formula from the Krusty Krab. Wait, what? I thought Mr. Krabs stole it from Plankton. No, Plankton tricked you. You need to return it immediately before Mr. Krabs realizes it's gone. Uh, oh, that's not good.